Hello friends. So this is our day six for solving problem of the day six. And uh, let's uh, look at the problem. So here is a problem. In students of different heights are attending an assembly. Okay. The heights of the students are represented by an array h. The problem is that if a student has less or equal height than the student standing in front of him, then he or she can't see the assembly. Right. So find the minimum number of students to be removed such that the maximum possible number of students can see the assembly. Okay. <clears throat> so let's uh, understand the question first. Then we will see how to solve it. Let's uh, an example. Let's take this example and see the example. Yeah. So what the question is saying? So we have given an array. We have given an array, right? So imagine actually. Uh, this is a line. Imagine this array as a line, line of people or students. Okay, so in this line, the first one to stand is this one. The second one to stand is this one. Okay, so this student is standing uh, after nine, right? And there is a student. After that, there is a student. Okay, so as what does the array represent? They represent the height of the students. Okay. Suppose uh, this, this they, there is a student of height 9. This is a very long student, right? And there is a student of height 1. Suppose this one. There is a student of height 2, right? Like this. There is a student of height 3, like this. So he is very big, right? So he has to, he has to be very big. He is very big. And there is another one. There is a five. So what they are saying is that uh, this student can see nothing, right? Except this this bigger student because its height is very big, right? So everything uh, in front of this student can be seen by this student because this height is very big, right? But uh, suppose uh, if uh, okay, so. Uh, right. Similarly, this student can see everything that is in front of this student because he is very taller. He or she is very taller than him or her. Right. So he is very taller than this one. So what is the problem? The problem is that I am in my position, but someone bigger than my height or equal to my height. Okay. So suppose. Suppose someone height is 1 and another someone's height is 1 and there are only two people. So this one cannot see anything which are in front of this student. Okay. So he can't see anything here. He can see or he or she can see but this one cannot. Right. Why? Because suppose thing. Na? So I am the person standing. So I can see anything if someone uh, equal or greater than my height is standing in front of me so I can't see anything except his back right so that is the question is saying so what we have to do we have to remove these pupils okay mm -hmm. we have to remove pupils from the line uh, we have to remove people from the line so that maximum number of people can see right so we have to remove people minimum number of people we have to remove we have to remove people right so not only people actually minimum number of people we have to remove minimum minimum number of people so that maximum 
number of people can see so the majority can see we have to we have to find that uh, minimum number of people so the number which is minimum so which represents the number of people to remove so that so obviously if we remove minimum number of people the so the people who are uh, seeing would be the maximum number of people right okay so suppose in this case so first understand this statement only we have to remove minimum number of people so that uh, other people can see so don't think about the maximum number when you are thinking about minimum number because when it will be minimum the number of people seeing will be automatically be maximum right so if i say see the question in another way that we we have to keep uh, uh, we have to keep the maximum number of people that can see right so we have to keep the maximum number of people that can see we we'll automatically remove the minimum number of people right we we'll automatically remove minimum number of people so it happens so if we want to keep maximum number of people that can see so there is a maximum number of people right maximum number of people suppose k so we have to remove so suppose m m is the maximum number of people so suppose uh, mean is uh, x suppose the minimum number of people to remove is x so so as m is the maximum number of people suppose minimum is x so suppose you say that no x is not minimum so there should be a number y which is less than x right so so y is less than x right so y plus some uh, number n would be x but in this case there are this most people which are surviving for to see something but i got extra n number right so we get a contradiction so if you don't understand it don't worry you are not going to need it okay so this is a thing right so so the most com most uh, needable thing here is to understand that the minimum number of people to remove is similar to us saying that the maximum number of people to keep on the other hand to see to say maximum number of people that can see right is actually implying that the minimum number of people to remove so suppose here i want to remove people right the answer here is given as 1 2 3 5 right so 1 2 3 5 are the minimum number of people to say okay so we have to remove two no number of people so which are they they are actually this 9 and this 1 okay so then we will get uh, this 1 2 3 and 5 this 1 and 2 and 3 and 5 they are actually uh, having no problem to see in front of themselves right because they have no bigger person in front of them right so actually the question is uh, here is tricky question this is actually a tricky question it actually is uh, say trying to say something uh, in other words so what they are actually trying to say is that suppose there is a person okay so suppose there is a bigger person they will have a problem right or a person with equal height listen to my words carefully they are saying that if in front of me i have a person in front of me i have a person who is of equal height as me or higher height greater height than me then i have a problem to see right so if there is a problem but if i have someone who is of who is less less height than me then i have no problem i am okay right so this case is considerable for every element of the element right so the answer the actual answer in the actual answer why this is an answer why only this array is an answer because for everyone this is true which is true for everyone the people front of them are of lesser heights see this one 
the people front of them are three lesser height for three consider three the people front of three is two two is less height for people two the people front of two is one who is lesser height than two right so there is no problem so for each element the front element should be less right so what they are saying listen to my words carefully for each element x the front elements must be less than x right so what actually they are saying is this suppose uh, uh, suppose uh, the answer is x1 x2 x3 suppose x4 okay so suppose the answer is x2 x3 x4 you can take as xn also i am not taking xn i'm just uh, taking an example case so what they are saying that x1 must be less than x2 x2 must be less than x3 x3 must be less than x4 i hope you got it so what does that mean we actually have to find an answer which is a increasing sequence right i hope you got it yeah we have to find the increasing sequence okay or we have to find numbers in increasing sequence right maintaining the position in the array so look at this this is actually a increasing sequence in increasing sequence is actually an increasing sequence right increasing sequence 1 to 3 5 why because suppose there is some number in anywhere between them or one of them some anywhere there is some xi who has in front of him some xj who is bigger height than him then he, this this one cannot see anything in front of him or her so suppose there is a person who has a uh, peop uh, 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 people greater height than him so he can't see anything this will block his uh, vision right so he, had, he can't see anything which is here this will block his hair okay so ultimately what i want to say is ultimately what i want to say is we have to find an increasing sequence we have to find an increasing sequence which is my answer actually increasing sequence which is my answer but is it only increasing sequence yes there are many answers right so if i give you answer 1 2 this is also an increasing sequence if i give you the answer as 1 2 3 there is no problem with each element each element can see their fronts respective fronts right so 1 2 3 is another answer so 1 2 3 5 uh, is another answer right or if i give you 3 uh, 5 uh, uh, this is also another answer so for each of this case they have no problem with with each other so everyone is perfectly seen in their front right so is my answer only increasing sequence no it has to be the greater one why because previously i said you right so the minimum number of moves the minimum number of people to remove is actually implying the maximum number of people to stay maximum number of people to stay right so we have to find an answer which is increasing sequence and which has maximum length okay so all these are answers okay but as we have to find the minimum number of remove operation okay so minimum number of remove happens so suppose i have five people i do minimum number of uh, remove right then i got my answer suppose so i remove some more right this so the number of people will stay will will be the maximum because in any other remove operations suppose x is my x is my remove operations which is minimum so every remove operations will be greater than x every remove operation will be greater than x because x is minimum of those operations so if i remove any y if i remove any y people so obviously x will be greater y so if i remove any y y will, will be definitely will be greater y greater than x sorry okay so in that case 
the number of people to save will be minimum right right so number of people leaves see here is three cases three people is staying okay so in the minimum removal case we have the maximum number of people to stay so that is why i'm trying to say in this case actually i have to find the maximum increasing sequence of this array or you can say sub sequence okay the maximum increasing sub sequence so the question is actually giving me to find giving me a, a, a trick or a, a, a to find the maximum increasing sequence but do we have to find the maximum increasing subsequence what the what does the answer is uh, asking us let's see the answer let's see the question okay so you have to find the minimum number of oh, sorry to find the minimum number of students to be removed we do not have to give the increasing subsequence you have to tell the number which represents the minimum number of removal operations right so what we can do here see so 9 1 2 3 1 5 what was our answer so suppose we know how to find the maximum increasing subsequence right so we know then the uh, staying people the people the maximum number of people to stay right so definitely just minus the length of the array just that minus the length of the answer their answer is what 4 uh, uh, right so just subtract the this result because these are the people to stay so the rest people all, already had uh, had been removed right so they will be the remove remove people people so the count of them is my answer this is obvious right so this is nothing to uh, actually think so here the size is 6 and we got our answer suppose we know don't bother about the process just think that we know how to find the maximum increasing subsequence of this array and we found we found it so it is 1 2 3 5 we found it okay so we know the maximum number of people to stay it is 1 2 3 5 5 so then we know that the the array was initially of size 6 and we got actually four people to stay who has no problem to see in front of them so then two people we will remove right because 6 minus 4 is 2 this is obvious because two uh, after removing two people i got four people to stay which are maximum and here two is minimum right so this is the actually trick to solve okay there is nothing uh, difficulty so why have, we have to find actually what we have to find is we have to actually find we have given an array given uh, an array right So to first find we have to first sorry we have to first find the maximum increasing subsequence then we will find its length by the size or length operation we found its length then we will just subtract the array length we subtract this length from the array length right then we get a my answer so simple right yes it's very simple so the problem is to find this maximum just uh, forget about all the things in this process we know we now know the process of finding our questions answer now this is a sub question maximum increasing subsequence you have to find the maximum increasing subsequence right so how we can find this so there is many approaches there is an approach in owen score complexity right so for for uh, there is a approach in owen score complexity uh, by creating a integer array of same size as my given array and this just uh, doing the db process dynamic programming process so actually the uh, actually the question is asking for uh, sorry actually the question is asking for n log n complexity okay so we don't need that approach here we'll do that is that is that will 
it's anywhere it needs but in this question that approach is not needed we have to find the answer in n log n complexity right so we have to find the answer in n log n complexity right so let's see how we can solve this so what we are going to do is uh, first understand that we have to find the subsequence right without that i can't find its length or the answer because length is important to find my answer if i found the length i will just subtract this one from my array length suppose this is l so i subtract my array length n i will subtract my this length from array length okay so suppose this is l then i will get my answer but length is important i have to find the length and for finding length i have to find the maximum integer in subsequence this is very very important we have to find this one this is my job in this question actually okay so i have to find the integer in subsequence how we can find we will create a array list first okay so first understand what we are going to do then i will tell you how or, or why so we are going to just create a array list in one square case we do array but in this case we are going to do array list okay and the given array i am taking that example 9 1 2 3 1 This is my given it, right? So what we are going to do is uh, okay. So what we are doing here is we will push just the first element. Okay. So here yeah, it is nine. We we'll don't think anything. We just push the first element. Then we will see this element and our error list element nine here. Is nine is greater than one or less than one? Nine is greater than one, obviously. So first understand what we need. in the next position what we need in the next position so if this is my answer suppose i got my answer and the elements are like this so if this is my answer then obviously as it is a maximum subsequence x1 must be less than x2 x2 must be less than x3 x3 must be less than x4 then x5 then x6 right so what i need here what i need here element greater than previous element x1 right what i need here an element what i need here an element x4 which is greater than x3 so i need a element here which is greater than 9 but one is not greater than 9 so if i don't find any element which is greater than its previous element what i will do is i will replace this element with my element why we will understand later first understand this oh so if i got any element greater than 9 I, i will then push it but now i am not getting any element at this position which is greater than 9 so i will replace 9 by 1 we will understand later why i am doing this <clears throat> then i got 2 so 2 has no problem with 1 1 has no problem with 2 because uh, obviously so keep this thing in mind that the next element should be greater than this element right the next element here should be greater than this element right so is 2 is greater than this element right so 2 is greater than 1 this element must be greater than our array list element so we push 2 nothing to worry about we go we see 3 He has no problem with two. Push three as three is greater than two. So listen, I am uh, checking three with only my array list last element, right? So I am checking three with my array list last element. Why? So why? Why we are checking only array list last element? Because see this sequence: x one less than x two less than x three. Less than x4, less than x5, less than x6. So I got an element. So I am doing the process of finding the array list in such a way that this is my answer, right? This is my maximum subsequence, maximum increasing subsequence, right? So notice the word increasing here. So I am finding an increasing subsequence, right? 
so if i finding the answer at this position suppose i am finding the answer for this position x6 position i am finding x6 from my this array and i got actually x5 then then i am going to find x6 i got all the elements here then i am finding x6 here so how i am finding the answers in such a way that x5 is actually bigger than all these numbers right because x1 is less than x2 x2 is less than x3 x3 is less than x4 and so on so obviously if if a is less than b b is less than c then a is less than c right this is a basic rule so in that rule so uh, as as the rule is concerned so if i find x5 if i found x5 okay so i am currently finding x6 suppose i am currently finding x6 right so that means i already found x5 so what that means is x5 is already greater than all the elements in the left okay so x5 is greater than all the elements in its fronts right so if i find the element x is it will already not only greater than x5 also the other elements it will be greater than all the other elements and no of them will have a problem because we we saw that right so that's why we are finding a sub increasing subsequence so if we got an answer here at this position we will only bother about this position element if this element is greater than 3 or not if it is nothing to care and nothing to worry because 3 is already greater than all the other elements and if i found an element greater than 3 it will already will be greater than 2 and 1 right so if you understand okay all right you understand so what i'm saying is that i got 3 i push i add 3 to my array list now i got 1 okay so now i got 1 so i can't push one here right i can't push one here because i have to find the next element which is greater than 3 and one is not greater than 3 so what we will do we will replace we will replace the element which is just greater than 1 we will replace the element which is just greater than 1 so the element which is just greater than 1 is 2 which is here If two was not there, three will be there. Three not so just greater element, which is here. It has to be here. The just greater element, which is in here, right? So why we are doing this? Let's understand that. Oh, okay, so let's first solve the question and the, the rule. So I replaced two with one by one. Okay, then I got five. So five is. Uh, Greater than three, no problem. So we add five, and there is no other element here. So this is my answer actually. One, one, three, five. This is my answer. So I got the length. So I got the length as four. So initially it was six. I got a four length. So six minus four is two. Why I am doing subtraction? I got the maximum subsequence. So if I minus, I will I will got the minimum number of people to remove. Which is two and two is actually my answer. You can see here, two is my answer. Okay, two is my answer. Right, two is my answer. Okay, now understand that why I am replacing this. It has to be understood with very clear. Why I am replacing? Suppose do one thing. Uh, suppose uh, I am adding some elements more here. Okay. So I am adding some more elements more. So you got the answer right by our rule. You got the answer. You do the thing and got the answer. Now, now we are doing if if we don't replace it, what will happen? Suppose nine, one, two, three, one, five, seven, six. Ten and uh, four, right? These are the elements, and we case the we uh, consider the case why don't replace. 
when you don't replace all right so nine so nine first push this number don't think anything there is one so one is not greater than nine so i'm not pushing or uh, replacing here okay so just left one as it is you are not doing one anything 9 is here right 2 is here look at 2 we are not adding to doing nothing with one we are not doing anything with one not adding to adding one in the array list okay so now look 2 is 2 greater than 9 no do nothing why because we are considering the case of not replacing we don't replace we will add if the element is greater than 9 or no or in that case only so 3 is not greater than 9 right 1 is not greater than 9 5 is not greater than 9 7 is not 6 is not 10 is greater than 9 right 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 yeah we definitely push it and there is no other element so we got our answer as 10 9 10 right so we got our answer as 2 so the answer will be Uh, there are elements how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 to so the answer is 10 minus 2 so the eight number of people to remove a very big number right now see the answer by replacing see the answer by replacing now okay so this is our answer by replacing right this is our answer by replacing this was our answer now we do replace now we do replace okay so now let's do replacing okay so we will push 9 we got 1 we replaced with 1 we got 2 we push it we got 3 we push it we got again one push two we replace two with one we got five five added because five is greater than three seven added seven is greater than five six six will be six is uh, not greater than seven so six will be replaced with just greater number than six so six will be replaced with just get a number then which one six itself so it is six here, seven here right so here okay so yeah we will replace it by six then 10 so 10 is greater than six pushing it then four replace four With five, okay, so five. Yeah, so we got our answer as one, one, four, six, and the three here, and ten. So the answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So there are six people to step. Previously it was two people to step. There are six people to step. So the answer is ten minus six as four. So we have to remove only four people. So why? You want? I think you you have got that. If we do this operation, we will get actual answer as four is obviously greater than eight. So four is obviously less than eight. So I have to find the minimum number of remove operation, right? So the minimum, as far as the minimum is concerned, so four is less than obviously four is less than obviously eight. So removing to eight people is worst case. Okay, so removing four people is okay. and our answer actually gives that there is no uh, uh, no options other than removing four, four people so why our algorithm uh, giving us this case giving this extra elements okay why because because see here because <clears throat> suppose uh, suppose uh, suppose for the testing suppose suppose 
Suppose here is an element called 7 and in my array I have 10. Okay. And these are suppose 1, 5. And the elements are suppose uh, 11, 9, 6, 2. So we have solved the beginner part, then we are just here to solve. We solved this part, we got this array, this array list, now the rest part is this. So, why we are doing this? Suppose, uh, suppose, suppose this is uh, uh, 6, this is 10. So, why we are replacing instead of just leaving it? Because the number here, so it is not the case of adding 6, right? Because this number is greater than 6. We are not adding 6 because this number 7 is greater than 6. The number here is greater than 6. Okay. So, suppose this is uh, 20. Okay, suppose this is 20 or 7, doesn't matter. So, then actually from 6, we have many numbers up to 20. 6, 7, 8, 9, right? 19, 20. In this case, uh, these are just uh, consecutive numbers. But suppose there may be another case where this is 40 or uh, 20 or something, 11. So suppose this is 11. Suppose this is 11. Suppose this is 16. Suppose this is 11. Then we have numbers starting from 6. Which are 10? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Then 11. So, if I if I left it as it is, I don't replace it. There are more numbers here, right? There are more numbers here. Alright. There are more numbers here. Good. So, suppose these numbers out of these numbers out of these four numbers or any numbers suppose so we have after this suppose uh, t numbers t number of elements here okay so suppose out of this m numbers m number of elements m number of elements so em suppose this i call it right em so em are the num number of elements which is greater than 11 right so em suppose be the number of elements which is greater than 11 and t minus em must be the greater the number of elements test right so em is the number of data number of elements greater than 11 right so if i draw a line like this like this so, suppose 11 is here, then the number of elements in our array, the number of elements in our array, if it is em, em, em number of elements, em is the number of elements greater than 11, okay. So, em number of elements is greater than 11. So, I have total number of elements in my, uh, this side array, after 6, is suppose, suppose this is t, I call it t. So there must be t minus em number of elements here, which is less than uh, 11. So t minus em is is actually less than 11, right? So suppose in this en be the number of elements greater than 6 then t minus em minus en will be the number which is less than 6 right i hope you understand what i am saying at in in a state i got 6 i got 7 in my array list i got that 
this element is greater than this so i can add this one in this position what i am thinking is forget about all arrays arrays forget about all these things now take the case as general okay so suppose there is 6 i am taking 6 and suppose there are some rest elements in my array in my height array i have some elements so i worked with all the elements and and i got some array list up to this suppose 1 5 7 and then i am at position of 6 i have to solve the rest part also so i am talking at that state i am solving 6 okay so suppose um, suppose there are t number of elements out of this m number of elements is greater than 11 so t minus em number of elements is less than 11 right what i am talking is suppose here en number of elements be like greater than 6 then t minus em minus en number of elements must be less than 6 right so if i don't replace if i if i don't replace what will happen If I don't replace, if I don't replace, if I don't replace, if I don't replace, then in that case I was uh, I I I had uh, this array list. Then I have to solve further, and I was uh, I had six there, right? so if i don't replace uh, so what i'm saying is uh, what was there uh, 11 right so it was is what is 11 so let's take 11 let's take 11 it will be beneficial to understand so we'll take the case as 11 and here is my array 6 so at here so at after after this array after in, in this array list listen to me what's carefully after this array list how many numbers are going to be placed in in my array list after 11 the number of elements greater than 11 right so they are what they are actually em right so i will i will have to then uh, uh, i will have to then Uh, add em number of elements, right? But if I, if I, uh, if I uh, replace six here, if I replace six here initially, in the don't replace case, in the don't replace case, if I don't replace, I will get only em number of elements to be added in this array list because em number of elements are here, here, which is greater than eleven. But if I replace, if I replace, then after eleven, after eleven, if I replace with six, if I replace it with six, so how many numbers are greater than six? How many numbers are greater than six? So listen uh, carefully. See this uh, 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 diagram. Okay, this diagram is very important. because em number of elements are strictly greater than 11 e minus em number of elements are strictly less than 11 okay so number of elements greater than 11 is em number of elements less than 11 is t minus em in that number of elements <coughs> in the case of number of elements less than 11 is t minus m <clears throat> one of them in one of these cases so number of elements which are greater than 6 if let be em and then number of elements less than 6 will it will be t minus em this minus this minus em so what are the numbers these numbers actually 
number of elements less than uh, 11 uh, less than 11 and greater than 6 so number of elements number of elements greater than 6 and less than 11 is what en right en right so the number of elements en it is greater than 11 and 11 is greater than 6, right? So we can say EM is greater than 6. The number of elements, listen to my words carefully. Number of elements is greater than 11. Number of elements which are greater than 11. So the number of elements, so the number of elements be x1, x2, dot dot x, x, em. So the number of elements which are each of them are greater than 11. This is greater than 11. The number of these elements is em which are greater than 11 and if it, the, a number is greater than 11 it will already it, it, it should be greater than 6 right a number which is greater than 11 is also greater than 6 so these numbers are also greater than 6 so I have em number of elements which are greater than 6 and this is another case okay so there are two different cases there are two different cases okay so the number of elements here are not equal are, are going to be never equal to number of elements here oh, sorry number of elements here are not going to be equal to the elements here because these are the elements greater than 11 these are the elements less than 11 right so these are the elements less than 11 these are the elements greater than 11 so they are not, ne never going to see same so the number of elements greater than 6 in this case will be get, will be different from the number of elements greater than 6 in this case so I can say that the number of elements greater than 6 in all these cases is to, is em plus en right if I don't replace it right so what I am trying to say is that number of elements after this after replacing here number of elements how many number of elements are there there are em plus en number of elements right so obviously em is greater than en em plus en oh, sorry obviously em is less than em em plus en right so what i am saying is that if i replace i will i will definitely get extra number of elements here seeing that em plus em and here i will got only em number of elements but if i replace i will got em plus en number of elements so that's why we are replacing okay because for each each re replacing case for each replacing case if i don't replace i will get less elements and for each replacing case if i replace i will get this extra elements en I will give these extra elements, right? So that is what I am saying. So I hope you understood that. I hope you understood that. I am going to tell you once again. That. So that is what I am saying. See here, I get only one element. As there is only one element, this is my EM actually. EM is actually 1 because I get only one element which is greater than 9. This is the case. But as I replaced 1 here, as I replaced by 1, I get extra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I get extra 5 elements. So I get ex actually extra 5 elements. Right. I get actually extra 5 elements. So this is actually my EM. So if I replace, I will get em plus en number of elements so that's why we are replacing because i have to find the maximum subsequence maximum increasing subsequence right so notice that word maximum i am not only going to find increasing subsequence containing maximum number of elements so i have to take this case only not this case where i am going to just getting em number of elements i going i am going to consider that case where i am going extra elements and which case i am getting extra elements where I, I will get EM plus EM number of elements, right? 
that is the reason i am going to tell you once again so suppose if i don't replace if i don't replace in in some state i have t elements out of which there are em elements which are greater than a number uh, greater than x so i have suppose x uh, x1 x2 x3 and then i am going then i am going to solve further and i get here some element which is less than x3 okay so suppose there is a element y and there is x3 so x3 is greater than y so i can push y here i have to push here the greater element than x3 but i get a element which is less than x3 so suppose there is em number of elements which are greater than x3 or in general i can say xi any x i suppose it is greater than xi and there are number of elements t minus em which is less than xi so as y less than xi y less than xi right so as y is less than xi as y is less than xi so in this case so these are the all numbers where i get all the numbers xi right so there should be some number which are greater than yi but less than xi y is less than xi but suppose this real number y is less than xi but there may be some numbers which are greater than y less than xi suppose en be the numbers which are greater than y but en is less than xi as we are putting the e case here where en is less than xi i am dividing the case t minus em is less than xi into two parts one is they are also greater than y and they are less than y okay so they are greater than y in the now in the in the number of elements which are less than xi or x3 suppose e n be the number of elements which are greater than y and then t minus em minus e n be the number of elements which is less than y then if you are confused just go the previous uh, previous uh, 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 video interval okay previous video interval i just discussed it just uh, one or two minutes uh, before i am just currently so so the total number of elements total number of elements which is greater than uh, xi is em but the total number of elements greater than y will be en plus em also because xi is greater than y right here was our x3 here was our y so x3 is greater than y so xi is greater than y and em is greater than xi oh so no what i am saying yeah so i am confused now okay so xi is the number of xi is the number here in the array list okay and y is the number in our array so x xi is greater than y so the number of elements which are greater than x3 will also be greater than y right so that's why i have to add here em also because em is also the number of elements greater than y because it is greater than xi and xi is greater than y so just take an example suppose so 10 11 13 14 so there are four numbers which is greater than four numbers which has which are greater than 10 right 
if I ask you how many numbers are there in here, how many numbers of how many number of elements here are greater than six? You will say four because ten is greater than six, right? So if an element is greater than even also there are three elements. <coughs> So 11, 13, 4, there are 3 number of elements which is greater than 10 and if I say, if I ask you how many number of elements here are greater than 6, you will answer me 3, right? Because if a number is greater than 10, it will also be greater than 6. So 3 number of elements are greater than 10 and 10 is also greater than 6. So 3 number of elements is also greater than 6. So I have to add m also when considering total number of elements greater than y. So I get em number of elements considering don't replace case, don't replace and I get replace case this number of elements. So this is bigger, this is smaller, right? So that's why we have to consider this case, right? Okay, so you understood, now let's code. Let's uh, use this all things. Like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an array list. I'm gonna create a uh, array list over. Uh, array list. Then, uh, then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna push the first element of each array. Then I'm going to uh, create a loop. Uh, where? Where? What we'll do? Um, if if the array element is greater than the array list's last element, right? If the array element is greater than array list's last element, then I will push it into the array list. I will push it into the array list. Else, I will actually find the next greater element index. So it is actually uh, just next greater element, next greater element index. Okay. So I will do it by binary search as I have to just do this whole operation in n log n time and binary search takes very less time. So the whole thing will be in n log n time. So I can uh, just use another loop. In that case, it will be on square. I have to do it in n log n time, right? So I have to do binary search here. I have to create a method. Just forget about that method. Just do this operation. Do, do this part only. So binary search and I will suppose get got the next greater element here. And what we will do? I will set uh, I will replace. I will replace that index element. I will replace 6. I will replace 10 by 6 right I got the 10 elements index so I I set 6 in this index that is equivalent to replacing right so I am going to next greater element index so in, in next greater element index I am just put adding my uh, this value uh, hi okay uh, then we don't have to do anything I will just do that and the one work is done. I will just uh, okay. So I have to find the I have to do the subtraction also. Uh, what we will do? I will do n minus array list size array list size right. Then I will return answer. So we are not done yet. We have to do the binary search method also. Public int binary search. So I have to give here many things. Which are the things? 
Well, I hope you know binary search. If you don't know, see you know YouTube. There are many videos, good videos. So to give you the low index, it will search from zero. It will go to the array list last index. And it will uh, search in array list elements. It will start from low and in 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 that high and in which which uh, data structure array list I have to give that data structure also and the value and the value just greater element of that value I will get that index I will get index of that element which is just greater than our our this H I will so element I will I will get the index of 10 which is just greater than 6 in our array list we have uh, computed so far right so, yeah so high and my array list and my value right so i will do i will mid index mid index which is equal to uh, minus one now i am going to compute it mid index mid index okay this is actually binary search nothing to understand it just binary search you see binary search you will understand other the rest part it is nothing to worry until low is less equal to high i am going to find my mid value mid uh, mid index value so low i are indexes so i am finding they are average mid index okay so this is low plus high by 2 then i am checking is uh, uh, array list dot get mid so my mid element in the array list is it greater is it um, is it greater than my value I have to find the just data element if it is greater than the value then it may be my answer but not not the actual answer see there may be in the error list there may be 11 12 13 and 10 also i am finding 10 okay so i am finding uh, i am i i got a uh, uh, index as something where the element is 11 and i am finding 10 so 11 is greater than 6 but not the next greater just greater okay so it is a greater element not just greater so i am not done yet i have to keep searching so what i will do i will do mid index equal to mid and i will do uh, 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 as my array list is in increasing manner so if i get a greater value i will search in the rest part of in the left left side as in the right side it will be already be greater than this element i mean i am computing a increasing sequence right so my array list contains only increasing elements so if i find an element which is greater than value the right side parts will also be greater than value so i i need a just greater so minimum of this is there any element which is less than this i have to find if, if it is then it may be the next greater if not i have to find again in the left if find left i will again find left so here i will search because on the right side it will already be greater so i am not not uh, actually computing the graders and the least i am on the on the search of least greater so I, if i found a greater element i will search in the left side okay so when uh, there is only one element to search actually that will be my value so what we will do i will do high equal to mid minus one okay and else my low is going to be my mid plus one 
and uh, I will return my mid index. Okay, so I hope I am done. There is there should be no error. Let's submit it. Let's see, yeah, I'm submitting. Yeah, I got an error as usual. Okay, so I was starting here from zero, I'm not starting from zero, I'm starting from one. Again, it is showing error. Why? Yeah, so if I got a 6 in my array list already, so what I am saying, I am, I am having a 6 in my array as that case and I am, I am having 10 here. So 10 is greater than 6, I can't add 6 here. But there may be 6 in my array list already, right. As in this case, I have 1, 2 1s, right. So there are only 2 6s. So if I had a 6 here, then actually the next greater is 6. Okay, so if I got a equal, if I got a value in my array list which is equal to 6, then I will replace the 6 by, I will re replace this 6 by that 6, okay. I will not replace 10. If there is any number in my array list which is uh, uh, equal to equal to my that array number, I will also then uh, replace this, okay. Uh, so that's it. I hope this will run now. Let's check. Yeah. Yeah. So you got it. So I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, let's uh, uh, see you in the next video.